Good morning ulit guys. Naputol na naman yung ating vlog for today. And we are still January 26, 2021. Mga 7 o'clock in the morning na. I could not see my clock. And then, um, let's start off this vlog with a prayer. Um, in nomine Patris, it be you, it's Spiritu e Sancto. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Mama Mary, Lord God in heaven, may everything I say um, would have a good impact for me and for all the viewers. Sana we would be we would be directed with our thoughts, words sentiments, disposition, decisions, and actions towards your holy will. With all the confusions in the world, uh, we are scared, Lord, but you are, you are still there in control, and we want to trust in your will. And may your will be done to each of our lives. Amen. And while waiting, Lord, may we be joyful and be delighted with your blessings every day for the love that I could receive from friends or far away, from my family members, my kins, from my ex-boyfriends, all the love and the prayers, and I hope, Lord, that there are no results sa mga prayers, ko, sa mga claims, um, masettle namin yung mga dupa peacefully without going through um, court cases, peacefully, Lord. And then, you know, your most holy will be done, O Lord. Amen. In nomine Patris, it be to you, it is spiritui sancto. Amen. I am almost carried out, <laughs> my dear brothers and sisters. Nakalimutan ko na naka, naka on yung camera. <laughs> Tatagal ba sana yung prayers? Anyway, in this morning, so we were talking about in the last vlog about you know the hunger problem na ngayon ko lang po nalaman na even in the US mayroon din pong ganung problema and there are even also problem with homeless people no on the streets i could just imagine how it is with extreme um, temperature and weather that they have there no malamig na malamig pagka winter how they are able to you know to survive and we could see uh, my dear brothers and sisters that God still provides no? all of these people could still survive perhaps there are cases of you know death because of extreme um, cold they are without the heater without their their shelter but apparently these are pressing issues no the hunger problem, homelessness, you know, the lack of human settlement, etc. all over the world. So, may I remind again, um, those who are interested with uh, public care, you know, public fund, for, to address all these needs. You, know, you have responsibility to do your part, not to corrupt them, not to be lazy, to distribute. No, to acquire with the, the allocated money on hand with the minimum cost possible but with the maximum benefits we could we could avail from the products that needs to be to be um, purchased and to be distributed properly to the people who needs the most no? kasi naman guys if there are naman extra even kasi the people in the government the servants could also avail, isn't it? Pag ka, kas, kasali naman tayo lahat sa sa budget, nasa hindi naman nakalagay sa konstitusyon na ang allocated budget ay lahat lang sa mga walang-wala, ba? Yung, yung sa mga poor lang. Na sometimes nga baka hindi na tayo nagkakaroon ng equitable um, distribution or equal distribution for that matter. Na pag sinabi natin um, we just qual qualify, no? In this area, slum area, ito na lang lagi, no? May four-piece na, meron ng mga pamigay, madami ng mga packages na binigay. Hindi natin nakikita na yung may mga bahay-bahay, example, they are out of job. They also need help. I want to remind always, no? 
the social workers, the non-government um, sectors who are also into social entrepreneurship, of course, the government sector, the church foundations who are into this movement, no? into this thrust and objective no? of addressing hunger and even also settlement. Uh, sana po maging, maging fair tayo no? that sometimes even people who has mansions I could see in the extreme uh, worst case scenarios na they went out of job, their businesses went down, went bankrupt sometimes they are already the ones also needing help no? with regards to hunger problem and even settlement problem because sometimes even if some people has mansions they have to give it up, right? if they could not afford any longer the next morti uh, amortizations ang dami pong mga ganyan cases na hindi po natin nakikita sometimes we just look at the slum people in the slum areas no people in the off road uh, mountains yun lang yung sometimes na nakikita natin uh, what i'm saying here is that we need to be you know fair and equitable uh, we need always to keep in mind that everyone is included in the in the constitution of any country for that matter even po those who are seated no in the government as government servants so ano lang po give and take and you know it's a matter of really looking at the equitable need of each one even if they are living in a big house sometimes even with cars you do not know if everything is still being paid no and nothing is left for food so ako po for me Everyone is included in the budget. Everyone is included in the law, in the constitution. So, even people with those things, even with gadgets, na naubusan na ng, ng budget for food, could avail if there are, no? If there are um, food rations um, that are available. Kaya mali naman po ang pananaw. It's very, really, very um, foolish to think na always those who are only... Um, who has nothing. Minsan pa nga, yung iba guys, nasabihin pa na, nakaka-makeup ka pa nga ni, naka, uh, we could even afford to put on a makeup, a lipstick, and you, your clothings are still nice, and you still have a ring, something like that, guys, that, uh, who would take pity on you? Mali ka. No? What if nga, they, they run out of money, they run out of food? No? What if nga, biglang-bigla na wala ng trabaho? nalugi sa negosyo huwag ka magbigay kung kung ganyan yung pananaw mo so long as humingi sa yung tao bigyan mo ba? especially if what you have on hand is not yours hindi kaya mabawa kagaya sa akin if in my decision I have you know land inheritances in my decision if I want to give someone whom I deem, I want from my heart to share my inheritance with, even if she is a trillionaire or he is a quadrillionaire. It's on me, diba? Because it's mine. But if you're talking about public property or public fund, that's the time that we need to apply those things, no? Na kailangan, makita natin na inid naman talaga. So I want to remind even people in the barangay, guys, they want people na tagpi-tagpi yung gutay-gutay yung damit. Hindi naman po kailangan ganun. No, parang yun ang gusto nating tutulungan lang yung uh, yung itsura, ang pangit, no? Hindi marunong magayos ang sarili. Hindi naman po ganun. Hindi yan makikita sa outward appearance. So, everybody is due of respect. Everybody is due of help. No? Huwag po natin yung pausuhin, napakapangit naman po, no? Porque gutay-gutay yung yung damit, hindi mo alam minsan yan pa yung mas may pera. No, basta when it regards to public property and funds and resources, everyone is counted. Kaya lang tama naman yung nakikita natin na kung sino yung mga walang-wala ang binibigyan natin ng priority. Pero wag naman guys na sa kanila na lang lahat no yun na yung sabi ko sa inyo in ba yung sa sa sap noon may mga four piece na yung pa yung binigyan ng sap ay yung mga may mga bahay na mansion na may kotse na wala ng trabaho wala ding income walang wala hindi naman po in include kasi 
middle income anya. Tapos yung pagkakaalam nila na may trabaho pa. Hindi pati yan i-entertain, guys. No? That is a discrimination you in the public service, ha? also in the church. You give so much attention also to the poor, na to the extreme naman na minsan nag aabuso na nga yung mga yan. No? Balance lang, guys. Balance lang. No, so, yung sabi ni Lord God na poor, is not only applicable to people who are disabled, people who are gutay-gutay, walang damit, no? Kailangan walang sing-sing. What if, kagaya sa akin, this is an inheritance, even if someone would would buy this for me. I mean, na-inherit ko lang ito, and this is symbolic of our lineage of royal family in ancient Spain. No? Hindi ko yun pwedeng ibenta, hindi ko yun pwedeng ipamigay din, no? Yung mga ganun guys, ha, kailangan yung mga naiintrasan talaga ng public fund for common welfare. Should be, you know, fair enough, just, and malawak po yung pag-iisip. At most importantly, has God in His heart, no? Is God loving and God fearing? And what I've always been saying, dapat motherly, no? Na nakakaintindi ka, kahit naman ang ganda ng itsura niyan, hindi naman lang sa'yo yung pera, hindi lang naman sa'yo yung public fund. Diba? Ang dami pong ganyan. Kaya yung iba naman tuloy, they make it a point na nagdadrama. Diba? Ang ganda ganda ng, ng damit niyan pag uh, sa party. Tapos, kasi mag, maglilimos kami, kaya ito lang. <laughs> no? It's a era of honesty. Kahit naman naka Cadillac pa yan na sasakyan, sinabing wala na siyang pangkain. Di wala na. No? Be fair, pag sa... Pag sinabi pong public fund and public resources and public food, you should be open to everyone, ha? Kayo na maiintrasan. Huwag kayo dyan magsungit. Huwag kayong magdamot, no? Kahit naka Ferrari pa yan, Lamborghini, no? Na car, what have you. Pag ano, sinabing <laughs> for everyone yung pagkain, make sure na pag lumapit yan, bigyan mo yan. Anak din yan ni God, no? Anak din yan ng, ng country, part of the citizen. Even nga po yung mga tourist, mga pilgrims, diba, during the lockdown, there were cases that they were really, you know, stranded, no? Or especially, of course, also the expats. They are supposed to be taken care of the local authorities, no? In, in times of this need. Huwag nyo sabihin na yung mga citizen lang yung dapat na pagbibigyan sa ganyan they are covered whoever is the human being they are in the area of res your responsibility is also your responsibility for caring no at least in temporary time that they are there in your area kaya wag nyo rin isipin na wala dapat protection yung mga pilgrims mga tourists no mga overseas workers they are also due of respect and care of the government as stated in the constitution in the temporary time that they are there in your area no so at all times there should be charity it would be a very big no if you are interested with this public fund while you have satan in your heart it would be very difficult I think this is already uh, what's happening with those that I've already mentioned also in the last vlog. Resources, food, no? Resources, food, and money na kailang kailangan ng mga tao pero ipapagkait. Na sometimes yung food, sasabihin niya, oh sige, I'm not accountable for it. It's all there. Pero pinabulok mo naman. No? It's still wastage. Kaya lang, sasabihin niya, magmamayabang pa yung napadalhan niya na hindi ko naman kinain, hindi ko naman ginamit, hindi ko naman sinarili. Nandiyan naman pero bulok na. It is still your negligence. Imagine, we waste up mo lang siya. Na receive mo, it's still your responsibility. Bakit hindi mo siya distribute? No, I I I have known of news that yun nga, hindi ko po ito sigurado, wala tayong evidence, pero pinapakita din po sa vision ko na may mga mayor-mayor dyan sa ibang municipality, I do not know here in Naga City, na meron nga sila pating, ano, parang they have a storage uh, mini warehouse, no, to store up yung mga pamigay, tas kung ano lang yung gusto nilang ibigay sa mga tao, yun lang, no, that is stealing, no, that's corruption altogether, you know yourselves, I don't need to mention you, here. 
no? That is stealing. So, those are really one of big factors that hinders the zero hunger program that even the United Nations wants to have, no? For the whole world. So, nakakahiya po tayo if we have high polluting things, no? We have, you know, high-tech and state-of-the-art facilities when, in fact, people have been deprived, no? For a long time, in a sustainable and consistent manner with the basic things, no? Nakakahiya. Ang daming gutom, ang daming um, nasa street. So, I will take for one, the United States of America, no? If people in the local district, no, the public servants, the government servants in the in the district where these people are, are responsible enough, there should not be people in the street, especially in a winter time, people, no. Hindi naman po sa pagyayabang, kung ako kasi yung nasa posisyon, I will find ways. That's the time you could you could ask um, solicitations and donations if you think that the budget that you have in your district, in your area of responsibility, is not enough to cover for that, um, to address that specific problem. Diba? That's the time. That's the time that uh, you could be resourceful enough to be asking, you know, outsourcing um, funds. To have these people be settled or be sent home with something on their hand. Eh, hindi sila maghahanap, no? They will not be scared to go home. Or, siguro, kung, basta something to, to make them be settled. Na imagine, winter time, yung mga tao nasa street lang. There are even um, Filipinos there that I saw. I think, saan ba yun? Sa California. Na merong Filipino dun. Christian pati siya. Um, hindi ko nakuha yung pangalan niya. Na, he... He graduated from Philippine Christian University. Guapo pa naman, guys. Pagkatapos, makikita mo na, na ano na siya, parang nawendang na. You could imagine if if the person skipped meals, and then maitim na siyempre siya because he would usually walk. And then siguro parang nag drugs na siya. No, kasi ang nalaman ko dun sa story ng konti, um, hinanap niya yung kapatid niya sa states, tapos parang minurder yata, parang hinang daw sa tree na namatay pagkatapos, naghihingi-hingi sana siya ng pagkain but there are really some people who are very uncharitable no, di na siya binigyan inalipusta pa, may racism pa kasi nasa USA Par tapos meron, merong isang LGBT na nakakita sa kanya yun ang nag-take ng video clip no, I think uh, I was able to see mga three. I'm sorry guys, hindi ko na jot down eh sa pagsascan-scan ko. Tapos ang nalaman ko doon, intelligence siya makikita mo, hindi yan makakarating ng America kung walang wala yan guys, no? I mean, kung walang abilidad at walang wala. Ibig sabihin nung pumunta daw siya sa states, yun na nga, he he wanted to to search for his brother na nalaman niya nga Ewan ko lang guys kung totoo yung kwento kasi kung wendang na nga siya, hindi natin sigurado. Pero based on the video clip, he said that his brother was hung on a tree na pinatay daw. So you can just imagine the trauma if it's really true. So he took, syempre drugs and then because of lack of money, naubos yung money niya, he lived on the street. So he skipped lunch, uh, lunch. <laughs> he skipped meals and then um you could imagine that not all people are are charitable enough, no? They would, you know, if you don't have God in your heart, of course, maaano ka, some people would, you know, would even tell the manager of establishments, bakit merong mga ganun, you know, that they do not want to be bothered. So, this LGBT uh, person um, took the video clip and I think, of course, he, he tried to help the person. One time nga, na-disgrasya pa yata, ang daming, doong, uh, ang daming wounds sa, sa legs ng guy. And then, this LGBT uh, LGBT man gave him medicines. No? And I think he was given, uh, of course, a little money for food. 
so nag track down track down po itong isang Filipino pero at one time may nakakita yata sa video clip in the Philippines nakita siya ng mom, mommy niya tapos yung mommy yata ina-accuse tuloy yung nagkukuha ng video clip that you're taking advantage of my son and then that uh, perhaps you got you got what my son sent me yung money daw <laughs> samantala ang sabi naman doon sa video clip na siya pa daw yung nagbigay nga doon sa homeless na Filipino na yon sa states nakakaawa guys na sana for me there would be really people who would take care of this first and foremost guys in every country you know the ano um the embassy of the Philippines isn't it kahit ilan pa yung mga o, ano mga Filipinos who migrated or are just overseas workers it is the watch also of the Philippine embassy nakakaawa po siya so he is just with those people na homeless meron din silang parang isang portion doon sabi ko nga buti nga um, they could endure the cold weather no the cold temperature there is in the US no meron naman sila mga blanket meron naman yata nagbigay so we could really see guys even if ang dami-daming sectors in the society who are trying to address these things no the shelter the the food no clothings of people na walang wala talaga still para makikita mo na kulang na kulang So, for me, ulit-ulitin ko po, in all the countries, before we could, you know, come up with high-polluting projects, you no know, beautifications, and what have you, what is really one big indication that a country and the, a government is doing its job 100%, you know, with a superior rating, is look at the standing of those poorest of the poor in the society. No. Kaya lang sometimes you would really see that you cannot really blame everything to the president. Kasi ang laki naman ng country, 'di ba? Example na lang sa Philippines, archipelago lang tayo, no? Maliit lang naman tayo. Still, the president would be confined of course in his office in the Malacañang Palace and could just, you know, visit randomly lang kung saan niya gustong mag-visit. Ang alam ko nga ito nga si President Duterte. is very good nagkadesga desga desgra siya nga ito kasi there were times that i know he would just take his motorcycle and do some research and investigation by himself no kaya nga yun nagkadesga desgra siya siya because of those things so hindi mo naman masasabi guys na pabaya no na hindi hindi nag hands on nagte-try naman mag hands on kaya nga they were able to come up with this narco list no for a while for a while kaya But we cannot really blame everything. What is important really, guys, are the frontliners, eh. No? Those people who are dealing directly to the citizens, who are also entrusted. Diba? Like, for example, in the national level, example na lang, we have 1 million pesos that's distributed in the cities and municipalities. O pagdating sa kamay ng mayor, kaltas. Good luck nga kung may maibibigay pa. Eh, kung sabihin na wala. tas binulsa ng mayor pinang Disneyland nila ng buong pamilya no those guys pagkatapos pag dating sa mayor sige sabihin natin pinorward pero may kaltas na o pag dating na naman sa barangay may kaltas wala na ma mahihita yung mga citizens to which the budget was was intended for like with the sap no already the president has read no about a week ago some of 89 barangay servants no barangay captains who were really reported with evidences that they have stolen no the social am amelioration program um cash amounts no in the barangay 89 nga lang po yun alam ko na meron pang mga areas diyan who does not know how to call 48 No, marami pa yan. So, sana po, mga public servants, sana magasgasan man lamang yung pride nyo, no, na makita nyo kung ano yung effect sa buong society ng pangungurakot ninyo. 
kung kayo nga gusto nyong na-assure yung family ninyo ng pagkain, yung mga anak ninyo, imagine nyo yung mga ibang pamilya, yung ibang anak ng ibang mga magulang na pinagkukuhaan ninyo, yung mga pinagnakawan nyo. They are suffering hunger. Tapos by this time, ubus na rin yung SAP na yun na binigay, no? Even with the second wave that we call. Napakahira po, no? I will tell you guys, ako lang sa pag-analyze ko, it's really very hard to be in the public service, no? Hindi ka pwedeng magdamot, hindi ka pwedeng magyabang, hindi ka pwedeng uh, magkomportable, I mean, hindi ka, kung dedicated ka guys, ha, hindi ka pwedeng un unahin mo yung sarili mo. No? Dapat nga, mag-antay ka pa niya na ibang tao yung magbigay sa iyo na, oh, si mayor naman isang pack din, di ba? Ganun yung dapat. No? Kung may delikadesa tayo. No? So, that that's it, guys. Sa tingin ko, hindi kulang yung pagkain. Yung pa rin, ang sasabihin ko sa inyo, meron lang nagnanakaw, merong gustong mangapi, gustong mag-deprive because of their satanic, you know, I do not know those rules, no? Na pag may biniktima, pag may deprive, pag may inapakan at inapi, nandun yung satisfaction nila, nandun yung ewan etching na points, points, no? Thinking that they would be re rewarded by the devil, but the devil is, a, you know, prince of lies, everything would be a lie, no? Imbis sa pinamigay yung mga delata, mga pagka, yung pina-expire. Pina-expire, no? Tinapon-tapon na lang. Also, those vegetables, no? Spices na hindi na-distribute and then they just throw it away. It's a big sin against God, no? It's an offense against God. Ipamigay ninyo. Kayo may mga farm dyan. Kung kung uh, ang tawag dito you think na hindi mo na siya mabebenta etc minsan nga even if um, there are already rotten um, portions people who does not have could still you know slice up the rotten portion and could still cook and eat those part na hindi no i could remember when we were in pilar village in las pinas my mom would usually you know make chaga with those kids from the outside of the squatter, outside of the village kasi may mga squatters din, no, sa Las Piñas. My mom uh, would usually buy from these kids who who gets yung mga tira-tira ng, actually, di ba, example yung, yung sa market, di ba, yung may inaalis na portion yung mga tindera. So that what they could display are really, you know, good quality, no? Um, in the eyes of the buyers, maganda yung naka-display. Pero, hindi, hindi pa naman siya yung bulok na bulok, guys, na pwede pang lutuin. So, my mom would usually buy it from the kids, no? Nag, Nagda-doorbell sila sa bahay namin doon. And then, tinitingnan naman ng mami ko na yung hindi naman kami lugi. Pero, at a very minimum, minimum price na rin po. Kasi, the kids were able to get it from the market for free. No? Hinihingi din nila doon. What is good in that was that it was not wasted, right? It was still used, and some of it uh, they could, I uh, know, they could feed on the for the animals, diba? For pigs, even for for dogs or cats, if you if you cook them, no? Na dapat po walang nasasayang. So yun ay nangyayari po, no? So we could really battle the hunger problem. I want the United Nations to address, and also those sectors who are trying to solve this problem, no? The, and they have come up with a zero hunger program, no? The Adequate Food Act Bill, also um, introduced by Aquino government under President Noy Noy Aquino, pero we could not really see it, no? We were not able to even... Um, experience them, no, na mayroong mga solution sa ganyan. So, ibig sabihin, they just became a program. No, they they just was able to be an adequate food act bill. I do not know if it is a law already by this time, no? At apparently, what is important is its enforcement, no, to put them in action in a rather consistent and sustainable manner. So, yun po, to all countries, no, government should really take attention that 
they need to make it a challenge that in all areas, in all districts, in all barangays, like here in the Philippines, tingnan po na merong wala dapat taong walang pagkain. No? Wala tao dapat na without the necessary food and drinks. No? In a rather consistent and sustainable fashion. No? Diyan ko kayo i-challenge. You could really tell if you are a good public servant if you address those things ang dami dami naman po ninyo di, di ba kasi ang iba sasabihin hindi lang naman yung hunger problem yung da oo nga pero ang sinasabi ko sa inyo that is the basic thing tapos you know what in some of the research ng mga scientists kaya sabi ko tama na naman yung sinabi ko the other day sa vlog ko di ba that before we even you know um, be focused on the vaccines let us address the hunger issues because it's about the health naman talaga ng mga tao that if we are properly nourished no we have a three square meals especially with nutritional food in a day our immune systems would be strong enough no even yet without the vaccine even yet without the vitamins no kasi yung vaccine daw uh, we're supposed to have antibodies that would fight if the bacteria comes, no? If the viruses would come. Ang nangyayari po ngayon, ang napansin ko talaga, na, napauso talaga yung may mga forced fasting, guys. Ako kasi ina-apply ko rin yun sa sarili ko. Example, di ba pag dinner, tsaka mataba naman ako, pag dinner time, sabi ko, wala naman ng activities, no, in the evening. So, I could just drink uh, something warm, um, something hot, coffee or choco or milk. And then we just rest na lang, di umaga na pag ano mo, di breakfast ka na. Sa akin, kaya ko yun. Pero yung mga matatanda na mga bata, tapos may mga sakit, tsaka mga payat, better not, no? Pero like, skip a lot of meals. Siyempre, yung immune system natin, you know, it's crushed down too. No, I, I for one, guys, you take me as an example. I got used to really having three square meals in a day with my mother maliit pa kami talagang we will not go out of the house without breakfast talagang 3 square meals a day kami may snacks pa yan tapos merienda yun talaga yung, yung my mom is really a typical spanish you could see in the video clips po how it is um with the spanish culture that really it's always food no Parang yun ang nagiging, um, anong bang tawag dito? Agape kasi yan eh, no? Yung, yung friendship and love, no? Is always based on, you know, eating together with food. Kaya dun ako, dun kami nasanay sa mami ko talaga. Na, talagang sabi ko, ganun pala yung Spanish, no? Talagang, uh, hindi, hindi, um, hindi issue yung walang pagkain. Basic thing talaga yung, meron kang pagkain, kaya yung isang sister-in-law ko noon yung pa yung naging niyang um, reklamo, so it, it means to say that in their house, they are not used to it na dito sa inyo, kain ang kain ganun, ganun yung sinasabi niya pero you know, you know what guys at least naman, um, assessing it to myself naging akong responsible person and naging akong happy person with the kind of treatment that my mom and dad gave us, no? Especially nung palaki pa lang kami, ganyan-ganyan. Until po kami nagkali, until namatay po yung dalawa, ganun yung panuntunan sa bahay where they are, no? Hindi dapat na walang pagkain. Well, there were times na naubusan din ng pera yung daddy ko kasi nga doon sa lupa namin, hindi naman po na all the time may harvest. No? Minsan nga, yung nagtry nga ako na mag-farming, no? break even lang ako parang I just got few thousands parang break even lang nga yung nangyari sa akin eh kasi nagtry lang ako mag farming na kaya pero once lang kasi yun pero kung consistent siguro I would have you know had already income hindi po ganun ka ano no hindi ganun ka profitable no especially if you do not have honest workers guys kasi sa farming pag nilagay mo na dyan yung, <clears throat> yung, yung tanim mo, 
tiba naka-open naman yan, eh ang laki ng tinang lupa namin. Wala kami yung property fence na tinatawag. So, people could just, you know, could just enter. Example, kung gabing-gabing na tulog ka naman. People could just get from your harvest. So, pagpunta mo, konti ka na lang, konti na lang yung makukuha mo. A lot of times, guys, <clears throat> ganun yung na-experience namin. So, I also give this appeal to the government, no? Nakawawa naman din talaga yung mga capitalist and owners ng lupa. Kung meron talaga dyan mga, mga nagnanakaw. Ibig ko sabihin, di ba, tinetresor yon Treasure. Treasure. <laughs> tinetresor kasi yung, yung di ba, pag hinarvest siya, yung sa palay, meron pa yung mga stock. So, we we put in a treasure the, the palay with the stocks. <clears throat> and then, that's the time that the palay will be will be uh, separated from the stock. No? So, ibig sabihin, what they what the people do when they steal from our land for those uh, palay. Ano po siya? Yung sa Bicol, ginigini ka na lang po yan sa mga harong ninda. No? Because they don't also have the treasure. No? They are just squatters. So, they don't have those um, mga equipments. Kaya, guys, pag may nakita kayong squatter na merong ganyan, most likely, ninakaw nila yan. Kaya nga yung baskula namin, nandoon sa, yun, sa squatter. In times of doubt, yun din ang ano ko. Alam ko kasi yung gamit namin, sa, because sa amin yan, sa lola ko pa kasi yun eh. Antik po yun. Na pinabayaan din po ng police mila or. No? Sumama na sa akin, hindi naman sinog. Ang dami po. Kaya I want to address this in the Department of Agriculture that while you are serving and supporting so much the farmers, please ask the owners of the land. No? Nakikita nyo kasi mga farmers, gutay-gutay yan. Kasi nga, squatters sila, they are just farming. But we need to ask if they are legally farming. Kawawa po talaga yung mga owners. Hindi lang po kasi talaga nag-iingay yung mga owners. That's why, that is one of my objective for forming the Association of Landed Families and Entities of the Philippines. Na, yung government must also make sure that these farmers are legal farmers, that the land that they are tilling has proper permission, no, na may, meron po kasi yung agreement sa Department of Agriculture, na dapat naman talaga may share yung, ano, yung owner, hindi naman pwedeng Hindi lahat po ng bagay dito sa mundo is free. Kaya paano mo sasabihin niyan? Ilang taon ka nag nag sa kasa lupa ko. Tas ikaw pa yung astang ano, 'di ba? Sa amin yung lupa, milyones yung worth ng lupa. Ang dami pong mga ganyan tapos ano, uh, kaya nga I am asking authorities. Kasi makikinig yan sa inyo, yung give them also ano, kumbaga discipline. That they really need to pay the owners with the right amount, even without asking. Dapat nga may permission eh. Yung illegal farming po. May permission yun. Tapos later on, ah, 20 years na kami dito nagpa-farm na hindi naman alam ng owner. Tapos magkiklaim po nung ano, may kiniklaim po kasi yan yung mga tenants na tinatawag and farmers. Eh, pag tinignan mo naman sa Department of Agriculture, kasi dapat meron po yung parang contract na sinasainan, no? This is to educate the farmers there na wala naman silang paalam sa owner. Just because the owner is abroad or sometimes the heir that does not know, no? That they have a ownership in that area, no? Which has been... occupied by squatters no sabi yung pang 20 years 30 years still there are owners there ta sasabihin pa magmamatigas pa guys yung mga himbawa yung mga naiwanan ng sabihin mong second generation or third generation no may konting alam sa batas yung mga sumali sa komunista no nauunahin nila yung yung rights nila pero hindi nila tinitingnan yung rights ng iba especially ng mga landowners ang tatapang nyan guys gagamit pa yan ng mga legal terms no? kaya sabi ko meron ditong nagsusupport support na hindi naman balansyado no? kasi tinitingnan nga yung side lang nila pero in the first place kahit pa 100 years ka na dyan, still the land is not yours and if you say that you have farm <coughs> excuse me <coughs> Tinitingnan guys, yung, yung sa mga agrarian uh, reform, yung mga 
batas na nag nagkakampi po sa farmer, tinitingnan lang yung batas in one side. Hindi niya tinitingnan yung kabuuan na magkakaroon ka ng tenancy niyan kung meron kayong pinirmahang agreement no na sasakahan mo this area for how many years and uh, magkano ba yung hatian all of those should be followed muna before you could avail of yung mga tin tinatawag na benefits ng tenants no ng mga farmers Hindi po yan nakikita at hindi naa-advisean yung mga nagsasaka ng ganyan at mga, you know, mga nagsunod lang sa farmers. Mga feeling heirs po yung mga ganyan. I could, I could name few, yung mga fahardo sa lupa namin. That's how they feel, guys, na yung lolo namin nagparasaka ngayon. Nandaiman nga ni, po, nagparatao sa mo. No? I am talking, ano, Bicol dialect. For those foreigners who would view my vlog, they would always, you know, have in their minds and heart their benefits, their claims, without really looking at the whole scenario. Na in the first place, there was no agreement. It was forcible entry. It was trespassing, and they just, you know, illegally built their structure. No. And then, of course, nakita na farm. O sige, mag-farm tayo. Tapos, pautang-utang kung saan. No, yung inuutangan naman, wala din pakialam. O sige, pati siya, nakikiparte na rin. Ako rin. Sila yung nagpartehan, guys. No? I want to mention uh, the kumpradahan ni Francisco. Ma ano yun? Manaog. Ganun po ang ginawa nila sa, sa lupa ko. Tapos, ang sabi pa niya ni Jean, na kabatch ko po yan. Ngayon, ang laki-laki na ng bahay. Apat-apat na po yung sasakyan. No? Nakakatakot po. I want this investigated. Kasi nung nag-usap kami, wala pa siyang ganyan. Ang pangit pa po ng bahay nila, luma pa, isa lang yung kotse. Ngayon po, ang ganda na. Fully air-conditioned po yung bahay. Tapos, ang, 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 ang sagot pa sa akin ni Batchmate, guys, talagang biktima ako ng mga Batchmate, Batchmate na yan. Ang sagot pa sa akin ni Batchmate na, sabi ko, Pwede bang itigil mo yung pagpapahiram? Ako na po ang nagsasabi sa kanya, pinakita ko pa yung, yung meron akong mapa, meron akong, yung sa assessor's office po, na nakapangalan po talaga sa tatay ko. Pwede bang tigilan mo, sabi ko, yung pagpapahiram dito sa mga taong ito? Kasi illegal nga sila, wala kaming agreement na magsaka sila doon. So pati ikaw, accessory ka sa crime. Ay, wala po, hindi po nakinig Patuloy po sila porque may connection sa police, porque may relative na police. Wala talaga tapos magsisimba yan. Nakikita ko pa yung magsisimba, magkukomunyon. No? Ito nang kinikwento ko sa inyo, mga aki, magsirimba na kita ta Domingo. Dahil lamang nahihiling na may mga illegal transactions in the entonces, mortal sin. Iyo batch, iyo may ako kaining time magparaano sa imo. Nagparasaka po duman. Hirak man po kami mga owners. Mayo na. Nagka, ako nagkahiri lang na po ako because hindi na po consistent yung wala man akong income. Hindi na po consistent yung pagkain ko. Sa akin lang po ha. I am not, ano, hindi ko sinasakop yung iba. Yung sa akin lang. I tried to be na, if I have one square meal for a day, Sabi ko, mataba naman ako. Yun ang nasa isip ko, guys. Mataba naman ako. Sige lang. Pag nagutom, mag-warm water ako. Warm. Kung merong ka coffee, mag-coffee, milk. Ganyan. Or biscuit kung merong available. But if not, warm water lang. Sige, mag-rest na lang. Wala ka namang ginagawa. Tulog-tulog na lang. Ganun guys yung ginagawa ko. Tapos iniisip ko talaga na mataba naman ako. Tingnan nyo, guys. Madali. Madali ako na, 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 ano, na infect. Madali na ako nagkakasakit. Kasi before, yung sakit ko lang nung bata pa ako, asthma, but not really like flu. No? Hindi siya yung bacteria related. Yung mga sakit ko nung bata pa ako, asthma naman yun. No? So yun guys, ang makikita ko talaga, that first and foremost, food is really health. No? Proper intake of food with the right amount, in moderation din of course. is health in itself. It is medicine. A lot of video clips, you, you try to check po the the YouTube. 
the trilly food in itself is medicine. Kasi kung strong nga yung, yung katawan natin, kahit pasabihin mo, nag, nag, aaligid na yung COVID na yan, may immunity ka nyan somehow. Because your immune system is strong. Pero yun na nga, tagutom ka, mababa na yung immune system mo. Lalo na kayo yung mga nagda-diet dyan, ha? Yung mga pa-sexy. Siyempre, babagsak yung immune system ninyo. Di madali kayong kakapitan ng virus. Yan, guys. Yun na nga. Take me as an example. Naging naman ako masyadong lax with myself. No? Sometimes pa, ang dami dyan sa inyo nagpupuyat. So, yun po. Kaya talaga, for me, we need really to be serious with this zero hunger program. Na dapat talaga, walang tao po na walang pagkain. Even in one house, if you say that you you give a food package, what if the person again who received them, corrupted, no? Tinago lahat para sa kanya lang. O di yung ibang member ng family, wala. That's why even with a sap nga, sa isang bahay, tinan mo dyan kung sino yung ano, di ba? Kung ilang pamilya yung nandyan. Yung single, alam nga namang porke daw walang anak, hindi pala kakain yung single, ha? Hindi pala kasali, hindi pala citizen yung single. Isa pa yan, ang dami pong discrimination sa Philippine society, nakikita ko. Dapat daw single na may anak. Yung single pala, mamatay na lang. <laughs> yan guys ha, yan ang mga na first hand experience ko po yan and observation that I could see. Ang daming foolishness. Tapos aligaga tayo ngayon na may mga pandemya, mag-acquire anya tayo ng vaccine. Naku, unahin. Wala naman pagkain, in-injectionan mo, may himatayan dyan. <laughs> diba? I could imagine my cousin before, no? Si BJ noon, naghihingi ng tulong doon kila Tita Chadi Oliva. Kasi nakaangat-angat naman sila. Dal dalawang abogado, dalawang, may engineer, tapos may dalawang, may dalawang doktor na nasa Amerika na, sila Dr. Yin. No? Naghihingi siya noon sa for 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 my tita yata yung tita ko kasi kapatid ng asawa ni tita Chadi namatay na rin kasi yon abogado yun so because of uh, being a good lawyer he was able to get a uh, good ano uh, um, clients they were able to generate millions so he was able to send his kids to school yun nga may dalawang doktor etc etc and my tita also was a professor in Leyte no maganda naman yung ano nila so they were well gotten well so yung yung cousin ko although ang po namin yun naghihingi nga sa kanila kasi yung tita ko hindi yun nakatapos ng college so they depend on you know pamigay talaga ng mga kapatid even even from my mom for the for uh, time we absorb them here in our house no one family ganun kabait po yung mami ko kaya sino sino sa inyo diyan ang ang um, makakabit ng ganun. Wala ka maririnig sa mami ko. May may breakfast, may merienda, and then lunch. Pagkatapos, yung papati ang nagpipilit yung mami ko, oy, bukas na kayo nun. Kasi may tindahan naman kami noon. Oy, bukas na kayo dyan ng coke, o tapos kuha na ng slice bread. Siya yung slice bread. No? Kung ano yung palaman yung gusto nyo. Ganun yung mami ko. Siya pa yung magpilit. Kahit sa akin noon, nag-aaral ako nyan, siya pa mang deliver na. O, oh, Nini, you must be very hungry already. O, oh, you, you eat naman snacks. Kasi noon, guys, hindi ako magutumin. <laughs> hindi talaga. Parang, yung mind ko noon, naka, nakatutok ako na, ah, accounting, ah, may mga problems kami, dapat, dapat, maano, mabalan, a lot of things, no, volleyball. Yun yung mga nasa isip ko noon, I could hardly feel hunger, no? If I'm not um, reminded, saka lang ako kakain. So, yung mami ko, magde-deliver pa yan kung nag-aaral ako. Or kung nasa tindahan din ako. Sige na, kuha ka dyan ang pagkain mo. Siya pa mamimilit. Gutom ka na yan. Ano ba? <laughs> Bubuksa na yun yung, ano, yung soft drink. Wala pa nun mga nesty sito na mga yan. So, ano kami? Mga malulusog kami that time. So, yun. We absorb one family, guys. Kapatid niya kasi yun, yung, yung tita ko. Libre sila lahat. No, kahit nga yung nagkaroon ng trabaho din yung asawa, hindi namin sila hinihingian. And my mommy is always, you know, 
I could hardly remember kung inawa niya yun, pinaringgan niya, no? Na, syempre, kasali sila sa gastos namin, guys, di ba? Example, kung very selfish yung parents ko, hindi sasabihin nila, imbis na savings namin, di ba? Tatlo sila, nandito sa bahay. Tapos yung kapatid ko rin, buong pamilya na nandito. Napakabait po ng mami ko. Always lang yun na nakangiti, kwento. Very, ano, very motherly po. She is really a royalty for me. She was really a queen. And it really just confirmed to me na kasi Marian siya, always yung nag-rosary. Yung daddy ko rin, no? Ganun din. Pagkatapos, um, yun, royalty nga siya. May royal blood siya from uh, Spain, no? Very motherly. Kaya, kahit nag nagkup-kup na mga tao sa bahay, Siguro may napapagalitan din siya doon, yung normal, no? Pero yung meron kasi guys na makikitira kang ano, libre. No kung makakarinig niya ng kung ano-ano. Tapos naman nagtutulong-tulong din naman sila, pero hindi sila yung nire-require. Gets niyo na gawing katulong, hindi. Si mami ko lang nga niyan ang nagtitinda pag off na siya. Basta kami nagsasalitan kami sa tindahan namin, tapos may kainan pa kami noon. Ganun po, kabait yung mami ko. Even nga dun sa kainan namin, some of the students here, meron, meron para pamangkin yata yun ni Robin Padilla from diet. Ah, dito yun lagi. Kasi tuwang-tuwa siya sa mami ko na, syempre, namimiss niya yung parents niya sa diet. Ano, yung, yung mami ko yung ginagawa, tsaka yung daddy ko yung ginagawa niyang parents dito. Tapos, parang barkada pa siya ng sister ko. Lagi yun may naka-reserve na... Ang, yung class niya kasi hanggang 8 o'clock yata yung last class niya sa Ateneo ayun, eh, hindi ko alam kung abogado na siya ngayon lagi magpa-reserve kasi masarap yung mami kung masasarap yung mga ulam na niluluto ng mami yung mga pork chop, yung mga normal sa mga teenagers baga na fried chicken na mala KFC yung mga ganon plus yung always may free soup Napakabait ng mami ko, even sa negosyo. Pag may lumapit sa aming gutom na walang-wala. Yung mga Franciscans, lagi po yan dito sa amin. Yan sila Rowena Santillan. Nakakahingi-hingi yan sila, sila Vilma Aspe. Na, nakalimot na rin po, no? And instead nga, inaway-away pa nga ako. Yan, yung, yung asawa ni Atet da Umar na yan. Isa yan dito sa mga pumupunta sa amin. Nakahabit pa yan, maghihingi ng mantika. Maghihingi ng kung ano mga spare-spare po. Hindi kami, hin, maluwag yung mami ko masyado. Pero you know what guys, tinan mo nga, the same people, I could hear also, may isang Chinese akong narinigan niya na kung sino pa daw yung mga taong binigyan niya ng pera sometimes, yung pa yung mga gumawa ng pagtatraidor. No? Very ironic. Yan, I want to remind, no? Na yung asawa ni Atat da Omar noon, siya yung nagdadrive para dun sa kasama niyang friar na maghihingi-hingi sa amin. Okay lang naman yun sa akin kasi member naman ako doon noon. Pero anyone, we also give, no? Even before yung daddy ko magbigay yan sa major seminary kung sobra yung harvest namin. At also nga, doon sa community nila. Maluwag kami. Hindi ka makakarinig sa amin kasi yung iba, pag nang yan, guys, may parinig yan. May parinig yan, taka may kapalit yung iba. No? Sa amin, hindi. No? nakakahingi ng maluwag yung iba so meron kaming mga naibsa na mga nagugutom nung, nung mga panahon na yon. that's why wala naman yung wala kaming masyadong savings pero we have help people no? kumbaga nagkaroon din kami ng ticket sa langit because of those kaya wag nyong sabihin guys na luging lugi kami even yung mga madre po dyan sa hakob noon na siya naman ding nanira din sa akin no? later on Ay, nako, magpapaano lang yan, excursion. Nako, padala kami ng mga 50 siopaw. Yung siopaw namin nun, ang sarap guys. Hindi ko na natago yung, yung recipe ng mami ko. May, meron siyang cook noon na gumagawa noon ng siopaw dito sa amin. Yung steamed siopaw, nako, daig namin yung nasa na, naga-restaurant na yan. May masarap na recipe kasi yung mami ko. Masarap yung timpla ng mami ko ng siopaw. Nakakagutong tuloy. Those are my memories talaga guys na out of love. No? Sige kain kayo. Yung nakasmile pa yan, motherly talaga yung mami ko pati yung daddy ko. Very supportive. Ang taas-taas pa ng mga sweldo ng staff-staff namin. 
hindi ka, kaya na feel ko yun guys, yung ako naman yung nasa position na ganun I just cried na yung mother ko yung parent, I just appreciated more my parents, na yun sa parents kung hindi ganyan, mapapagalitan ka lang ng mga yun, pagka talaga may ginawa kang masama, yung ganun yung, yung sa staff namin, ganyan kami yung mga ali alalay alalay ganun kami pero pag when it comes to pagkain maluwag yung mami ko kung ano yung ulam namin yun din kahit sa mga magsasaka namin kami pa niya noon yung nagluluto kami pa yung nagsisilbi libre kain yan guys libre kami pakapi hindi kagaya ng karamihan dyan sobra sobra naman ayaw man lang mag share no? bago ka maka ano may maririnig ka pa niyan Napakabait ng mami ko, ng parents ko. Kaya, ando na sila sa langit, mga santo na yun. Hindi man sila i-declare dito sa lupa ng Catholic Church. Kasi mahal yan, guys. If you want someone na alam mo na um, holy, may binabayaran pa yan sa, ano, sa Vatican. That's what I've learned from the DC sisters. Na ang mahal pala daw niyan, yung, syempre, itatrack down mo yung life, <clears throat> no? Tapos kung may mga miracles, mahal yan. Kaya, sinasabi ko sa inyo, although we have declared saints in the Catholic Church, I am pretty sure there are a lot of unreported um, souls also who are now in heaven. You will not go to heaven if you are not called a saint. Kasi noon parang sinasabi no, sa convent doon na, you have to ask for it that you want to be a saint. Totoo naman, kung hindi ka maghihingi ng maging santo ka, you will not go to heaven. Hindi ka naman makakapasok ng, ng, ng heaven kung hindi ka santo. Ayan, guys. So, we were talking about hunger. So, yun po. Meron naman po mga tinatawag na world food program. Kaya lang, kailangan pa nito ng malawakang execution and monitoring that they be, you know, consistent and sustainable. Kasi, nakakainis lang, guys. Ganyan, nagkakaroon ng imbalance yung society and there is destabilization altogether, eventually. Pagka kasi, hindi nga ginagawa ng public officials and pub, you know, church officials and servants, for that matter, and even, you know, sectors na non-government and non-profit organizations who are also into um, social entrepreneurship and social works no foundations so also tries to augment no the poverty the sufferings of poverty and hunger in the society if they do not work you know with a good link and with good intention kasi pag tiningnan mo ang dami dami na yon no nagtutulong-tulungan meron pa tayong foreign um, assistances for that matter Kaya lang ang tanong nga, sa distribution din. Tsaka, pag kinurakot nga, talagang walang ma... <laughs> diba, kahit ang dami-dami niyan, kung may nagkurakot, tapos hinayaan niyang mabulok yung iba, still there is hunger problem. No? So, it should be the acquisition, the pag na-receive siya, and the logistics, and then the people who are receiving, dapat in an individual manner. Talagang per count, tas ibibigay mo talaga dun sa tao, no? Kasi even in one house, meron ding mga kurakot. Tiba, hindi ko sasabihin sa amin. It's possible. Sasabihin ah, na dun po sa ano, tapos hindi na niya sasabihin na may na-receive. No? May mga kurakot din sa mga bahay-bahay. Kaya dapat, ibibigay mo mismo dun sa tao, no? Per ano, kumbaga, per head, so, yun po ang ano natin. Merong World Food Program and then the, the United Nations. They should be monitored. They should be really enforced in full extent. No? In a consistent, ulit-ulit ako, consistent and sustainable manner. No? We could make use of aquaculture. Diba? Ang dami po sa mga bahay-bahay na wala naman sila mga plots of land. Na meron na tayong um, technology for aquaculture. You may... Uh, try to discover them in YouTube channels po. The aqua culture, the hydrophonics, no? They try to plant um, vegetables making use only of water. And then this hydrophonics technology, no? You may research on them po so that we could also have 
in each of our house, at least meron tayong vegetation, meron tayong inaantay man lang na mag-grow, na pwede nyong kainin, no? pwede nyong, pwede nyong um, gamitin for the nutrition. Especially, uh, yung mga herbal plants, no? ginger, root crops, no? for food, for medicine, no? We all we also have this vertical farming. Yung isang nakita ko po, 'di ba yung ano ano ba yun yung mga containers po na ginagamit, no, sa mga sa customs. They are uh, they are formed into into such a setting na makakaplant ka ng with several levels ng meron meron pa ring soil yun na air condition din yung loob ng ng container na may nagtry na po dito i do not know i think in bulacan so ayun nakaka nakaka-grow po sila vertical farming na tinatawag i think it is also like that of um, done by Ian Angelo King in the Tower Farm in Caleraya no the vertical farming no yung parang paganon po baga you may ask them pero yung technology po you, you will uh, buy it i do not know how much it is so in a small space marami kang malalagay no and layer din siya so marami kang magogrow na example kung ano man ang ginugrow mo diyan kung chili kung ano ba yung mga ano yung bell pepper ang palaya that with a small space you could maximize it so Meron pa ngang na-invent ito si Ian Angelo King. You may check out her YouTube channel, Angie King. Yung plant plot na nasa barges po. Doon sa ano, um, in the Caleraya Lake, tiba. Um na, nag-try po siya, no? Nag nagplant siya ng mga eggplants yata. Yun any vegetables again for that matter na ginawa niya ng barge tapos may konting soil. Tiba napaka fertile noon ng ng soil kasi yung yung moisture ng water from the lake is you know being absorbed by the soil by evaporation pag ganun yung water so even if you leave it there without really like um having a daily watering of the plants napaka